security focused operating system is a hacker's best friend as it helps them to detect the weaknesses in computer systems or computer networks. It's time to pass the archaic Windows versus Linux discussion and switch over to some advanced operating systems dedicated to pen testing and ethical hacking. Hey guys, I'm Archana from Edureka and I welcome you to this session on Kali Linux, a leading Linux distribution in penetration testing and ethical hacking. So whether you want to pursue a career in information security or you're already working as a security professional or if you're just interested in this specific field for fun, a decent Linux distro that suits your purpose is always a must. Well, currently there are countless Linux distros meant for various purposes. In this session, we will be discussing one of the top Linux distribution meant for ethical hacking, which is Kali Linux. So let's get started there. Kali Linux is the industry's leading Linux distribution in penetration testing and ethical hacking. It is a distribution that offers tons and tons of hacking and penetration tools and software by default. It's widely recognized in all parts of the world, even among Windows users who may not know even what Linux is are using Kali Linux these days. But guys, while well, to be precise, Kali Linux was developed by Offensive Security as rewrite of Backtrack. Now you might be wondering what Backtrack is, right? Backtrack was a Linux distribution that focused on security. It was used for digital forensics and penetration testing. Its first version was released on May 26, 2006. And in the subsequent years, different versions of Backtrack were released with updates and advanced features. And finally, on March 2013, the Defensive Security team rebuilt entire Backtrack architecture around Debian distribution and released it under name Kali Linux. So that's how Kali Linux came into existence. So guys, now you know how Kali Linux was introduced to this world. But the question is, why should you choose Kali Linux when you have other choices like Parrot, Blackbox, Black Arc, and many more? Let me list out few reasons as to why Kali Linux is the best. First and foremost, Kali Linux offers more than 600 penetration testing tools from various fields of security and forensics. Secondly, it offers multi-language support. Although penetration tools tend to be written in English, Kali includes multilingual support. This way, more users can operate in their native language and locate the tools they need for the job that they want to do on Kali Linux. Moving on, Kali Linux is actually built in secure environment. Actually, Kali team is made up of small group of individuals. Those are the only ones who can commit packages and interact with repositories, all of which is done using multiple secure protocols. So basically, it is built on a secure environment. And moving on, one of the striking features of Kali Linux is that it supports wireless devices. It is built in such a way that it supports as many wireless devices as it possibly can. This way, it runs properly on wide variety of hardware and is compatible with numerous USB and other wireless devices very easily. Kali Linux, like Backtrack, is completely free of charge and always will be. You will never ever have to pay to use Kali Linux. And finally, Kali Linux offers you customization option. So if you're not comfortable with current Kali Linux features, you can customize Kali Linux the way you want. So guys, I guess the reasons which we just discussed are enough for you to start using Kali Linux, right? Let's proceed then. So apart from all the benefits which we discussed earlier, Kali Linux offers different installation options. One way of installing Kali Linux is by making a Kali bootable USB drive. This is one of the fastest way of installing Kali Linux and most favorable as well. It's favorable because it's non-destructive. So if you're using USB to install, then no changes are need to be made to your host system's hard drive, right? So it's non-destructive. It's portable. You can carry USB wherever you go and it's easy to install. And lastly, it's potentially persistent. You can configure your Kali Linux live USB drive to have persistent storage so that data you collect is saved across different reboots. So suppose you have installed it and you've performed something and you have some data which is stored. If you want to use that data for next time as well, you can use persistent storage option with live USB installation process. Moving on, there is Kali Linux hard disk install. Installing Kali Linux on your computer using a hard disk is an easy process but you should make sure that your computer has compatible hardware with Kali Linux so that the process of installation goes on very smoothly. You can also install Kali Linux alongside your operating system as dual boot. It could be Windows or Mac, but you should exercise caution during setup process so that installation of Kali Linux don't mess up with your actual host operating system, 
which is Windows or Mac. You can use virtualization software such as VMware or VirtualBox to install Kali Linux as well. As for this session, I'll show you how to install Kali Linux on VMware. Guys, apart from these, you can also set up Kali Linux on ARM devices. ARM usually refers to advanced risk machines like Raspberry Pi, Qubit Truck, Trim Slice, and many more. So if you want to know more about how to use Kali Linux on these ARM devices and a different many other installation options, you can actually explore them in the official Kali Linux website documentation. So go ahead, guys. Just don't stick to one way of installing it. Explore different way of installing it and start using it. So go ahead and explore. Try new things on Kali Linux. Thank you, guys. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.